I'm Brandy. And I'm Lodge, and this is the story behind the song, Sarah. Sarah. So, this is a song that I wrote, um, and it kind of came out of a dream that I had. So, sort of similar to Lodge's dream song, Violets. Yeah. And My dream song inspired your dream song. Sort of. Dot com. The, yeah. Kind of weird. Anyway, um, I've never written a song before, so I... I don't know. I was just I had this dream, I, and I, in the dream I like snuck into a party that at Lodge's house that was like for teachers only or something. I'm not exactly sure why on earth I would want to sneak into a teachers only party, but I came in and then I saw this poster, and on the back of it I saw pieces of lyrics, and I heard this tune. And so when I woke up, I had this this tune stuck in my head and part of the song. So I the, that morning I kind of worked on it a little bit, filled out the rest of the lyrics and, and the chorus, and then. I sent it to Lodge. I actually sang it on my phone, so I could send him a recording of the of what I thought the melody would be, and that was painful because the recording wasn't very good since it was on my phone, and I also was making it up. So it was a uh, it was an interesting experience because I like I said I've never done that before. Um, I felt kind of brilliant for a second. I'll be honest with you, but right. So, well, I so I get this I get this email and it's got this you know it's like cell phone audio thing attached to it and a bunch of lyrics and I kind of glanced at the lyrics and it's like hey I wrote a song for my dream I'm like yeah who do you want to be like oh my goodness I'm just saying like it wasn't okay, like I was sure, trying you write a song to... for your dream right right right, right. just Whatever. just what happens to be right after I did and uh, so I looked at this and I'm like I, I was a little scared of it to be honest with you. I'm like oh this is gonna be this is not terrible. Gonna, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> you know, so I listened to it and I was reading the lyrics and I'm like, oh, this is pretty. This is pretty good. So you know, just she was just singing a melody, and so I jumped on the, uh, jumped on the Rhodes piano, and just kind of worked out the uh, the chord structure, and. Um, I think we we tweaked the lyrics a little bit too because there were some there were some spots I wasn't exactly sure how I liked how they sounded so. He definitely, you know, helped with some of that, making it flow a little some better. Of phrasing, yeah, yeah just, just repeating some things, creating a chorus, and that kind of stuff. But, but the the general structure was was already there and was pretty good. And I think I believe I'm right in this, but like in the dream, I think I was singing this song, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it some, yeah. It was a guy singing the song. Yeah, it was a guy singing the song. You, you were you were singing the tune, and I saw the lyrics separately in my dream. It was just kind of weird, but I put them together, and so. We talked about trying to change it so that it would make sense for a girl to sing it, I guess, in terms right. of a, your typical what you think of boy girl love song type thing. Right, right. Um, but Lodge insisted that I sing it because I wrote it. So. Yeah. It would have sounded really silly for me to sing it. Then you're lonely. I. Especially this part. La, okay, la time, la out. La time out. Time out. You came up with the bridge. I didn't have a bridge for the song, and so we worked on that together, and he was like, how about some la di da? How about some la di da? Well, I imagine if you were going to sing it, then you probably wouldn't have made that the bridge of the song. But, right. But, I mean, originally, my, like, my thought was that a guy would sing it, but, I mean, I think it still makes sense. It's, it works fine the way it is, so, I don't know. But it was my first stab at writing a song, and, and very weird process, because there really wasn't one. It was just something came to me, and I wrote yeah. it. So, unfortunately, haven't had much of that going on lately since, but who knows? Well, you have sent. So she sent me a couple of things since then. Yeah, and, um, I kind of jumped right in because I was like, "Oh, the first one you sent me was good." So I jumped into the, you know these other ones. I'm like, "Ooh, this That's one. So this one may need a little a little work. Let's let's talk about it later." A little extra help. Yeah. So this is the story behind the song. It's Sarah. Sarah. Check it out at brandyparker.com.